Hello, welcome back, or welcome if this is your first time to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are going to take a look at those of you who are males who have significant placements of Gemini and Aquarius anywhere in your birth chart. Before we get into your reading, I would like to invite you all to book a personal private ses a session with me at my website www.divinelotustarot.com. You can find the link at your convenience. Um, below this video also i would like to invite you to follow me on my other social media platforms and you can find that information below this video as well too so i'm very excited to do this reading i don't know why so maybe that's a good thing in regards to the messages that's going to come through so yeah i'm just in a really good energy when it comes to doing this reading like i'm i'm excited so first and foremost, some preliminary messages um, as I'm just kind of picking up on your sign's energy and some of like, you know, some factors pertaining to it before I actually get into the cards for you all. Like I said, this is for those of you who have significant placements of Gemini or Aquarius and you are males, okay, in your birth chart. So what I am picking up for some of you is that you are supposed to be utilizing experiences that you have had where you're no longer dealing with certain um I, i'm getting i'm picking up strongly women so for those of you who um have romantic and love relationships with um, women um i feel like you're supposed to be using the lessons that you've had from previous experiences with people who you're no longer with as a tool as a stepping stone for you to move forward I feel like, um, especially because we're in Venus retrograde energy right now, I feel like you're supposed to be using this energy to help you to see the areas maybe where you felt kind of short in certain relationships so that you can use this to your advantage, essentially like a stepping stone moving forward um, with the new love. Now, I'm seeing a big, I'm seeing a big, um, like, like it's, it's a huge amount of energy that I'm getting for you all around communication. So for some of you, I definitely feel like maybe in previous relationships that you've had, you were not very like expressive, okay, in these relationships, especially when it came to your um, sexual intimacy. I feel like this is a topic that maybe some of you didn't really talk about um, in these relationships. I also am picking up like yeah you just need to have more confidence as well too especially to talk about the things that that you care deeply about um and i just feel like for some of you you require that sense of security and safety um in a relationship and i feel for some of you some of that may have been lacking because you may have been afraid previously to like be very intimate and and talk about your intimate needs okay like this does not make you weak this this does not make you less of a a man you know if you talk about like your sexual needs you know what i'm saying or um allowing yourself to get close to a person to even open up to them um even if whether it's pertaining to sex or or sex-based topics or things that you know um have transpired sexually with you that maybe you've been afraid to talk to other individuals about um but i feel like also just other things that are intimate in nature i feel like some of you may have always had like sex with individuals but there never was really like intimacy that was established or developed between you and these people it was just essentially like like casual superficial surface level relationships that you were just having sex in but it's like you never really like have been with individuals that you could get like deep because i feel like there's a lack of security that you have felt like there's a lack of emotional connection and security that you've had with these individuals also i've seen as well too that some of you may have not been like aware or maybe just didn't want to admit it that you actually require females that are smarter than you because I feel like a lot of you have been in relationships where you're normally like maybe like the smartest one where you're very like intelligent and maybe you like 
either subconsciously would choose girls who were like dumber than you or you um maybe some of you intentionally did this because i don't know <laughs> maybe that made you feel some sense of power or in control but i actually am picking up that you actually require like females that are like like actually more intelligent than you because whether you want to admit it or not like you actually like learning from females um that you're in relationships with so i feel like for some of you it's something that either a you weren't aware of um b some of you intentionally would get with girls who were you know dumber than you on purpose just for a sense of you know to inflate or boost your ego and see this could just be something that some of you are just starting to become aware of like after dating so many people and now it's just maybe starting to connect the dots for you like you know what all the you know females that have come into your you know your experiences it might just be dawning on you now like that most of those females were not as intelligent you know or or let's not call them dumb maybe all of them were not dumb maybe it was just the sense that they were not compatible with you on an uh, intellectual level so for some of you, you you blatantly were dating dumb chicks for others of you you definitely you know may have dated chicks who had some type of um intelligence or they may have been smart to some extent but maybe they just could not match your wit or they could not um they were not compatible with you at a intellectual level that you are at um as well as maybe they just didn't bring anything to the table that they were able to teach you okay so i feel like those are essentially the preliminary messages let's go ahead and pull some cards like i said i'm really interested in this reading i'm not quite sure why maybe we'll figure out why but I like air energy, so yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so initially what I'm picking up is dietary changes, okay? I have uh, I have a, a, a energy here where I feel like I heard meat. So I feel like some of you may be giving up meat and I'm hearing vegan okay so some of, you, some of you may be deciding to move towards a dietary lifestyle change that's going to move you um, in the direction of being a vegan okay that's what I'm picking up initially I'm seeing some of you may also give up like drinking and partying I feel like there's going to be some significant like changes that you're making and I feel like it's yeah I, I feel like I feel like you're doing it for like your family for like your lineage um, is what I'm seeing so maybe you're trying to establish some new like customs traditions new um what is that called like you're, you're trying to set a new foundation or tone like for the family or the lineage the empire whatever that you're establishing is what I'm getting so it's, it's almost like you're changing things and you're starting with yourself okay so maybe these are things that you never you know had anyone to teach you and now you're you you may have been doing some research and you're feeling like that could be the best route for you to go okay for others of you i also see you kind of like breaking and releasing like toxic patterns that you may have picked up that your family has been holding on to and carrying for a long time so for some of you i'm definitely seeing drinking could be something like alcoholism could be something that you are giving up because this could be something that um a lot of individuals maybe in your family have suffered from so I, f I feel like you're going to be the catalyst to make that change so that whatever this is, it stops with you and begins a new era with you as well, too, is what I'm saying. So you're, you're establishing like new um, roots, but I feel like it's like going to positively impact like 
your family history as well too so you're doing something very monumental is what it feels like it feels very monumental okay because i'm seeing something that's been here like for a long time okay there's like a long line a long history of whatever this is that you are making some type of significant change and it's going to make a positive significant impact as well too in your life and you know generations to come after you so like that's great okay like kudos to y'all for for you know deciding to be the change okay um being the one to step up and take that um role that position okay so i'm also picking up as well too maybe some of you may have dealt with um mother wounds okay and how mother wounds can show up for you it can be situations maybe where you did not get the type of nurturing that you required um when you were growing up this could be for several reasons um but essentially it you know, it boils down to some type of lack or absence of the the mother being in your life, okay? Um, and even if she was present in your life, the mother or like your actual mother or whoever played the role as your mother um, figure in your life, it could just be a sense that for some of you, this person was absent or it was almost like even if this person was available, they still were absent in some type of manner, okay? Because, like I said, it, it, it could be several different factors for this. So I feel like for some of you, that's how the mother wound can um, show up for you. Now, also, with you having a mother wound, um, a, a mother wound, this also could show up as, like, the partners, the significant others that you attract into your life. So this, this could be a situation where you're constantly you know drawing in or magnetizing to you because you have this wound that you haven't healed um because maybe it was unbeknownst to some of you all that you know you were dealing with this females um who would um kind of trigger this mother wound in you to help you heal this especially on a subconscious level for those of you who were not like just in tune with yourself at that time that you were even aware that you had this this mother wound that you were dealing with so I feel like for a lot of you moving forward, especially through 2022, this is something that I feel like you're making significant, drastic, um, positive healing and changes towards and um, just coming into a sense of being more um, open and receptive to, to love as, um, is what I'm getting as well too maybe some of you may actually um reconcile with your mom and even if you don't reconcile and you the two of you re-establish some type of connection or establish for the first time some type of connection um like i said due to whatever dynamic that you and your mother have or if that's even possible in this um lifetime i feel like maybe it's also just a sense of coming to um, some type of acceptance within yourself in regards to like the role that your mom played and um, just moving forward how you can have some type of peace in your life um, maybe some of you are just finally letting go of the, the baggage or the wounds um, around you know your mother's lack of being able to nurture you in the manner that you needed okay when you were growing up so I see some of you definitely um moving past this okay and making great strides and finding a sense of just contentment okay which is going to help you to release and heal that aspect of you which in return is also going to help you to attract in like better suited compatible romantic partners that are not going to no they will no longer like play on this this aspect of you because you're you know you're working on this so is going to help you to bring in romantic partners that actually are going to like help you and then i feel like it'll be like romantic partners that'll actually be able to give you the type of love and nurturing that maybe you never even received so it's almost like by you finally releasing and healing any type of uh anger resentment or whatever you've been holding on um i'm hearing animosity um, towards your mother or your mother figure is going to allow you to actually draw in partners that are going to 
you know, I'm not saying they're going to take the role of your mother, but they will be able to provide you a level of love and nurturing that um, a partner can. And I would say for you to be willing to do that, you require and that you need that's going to make you feel really good and give you that sense of emotional um, security and emotional safety that's going to allow your love to be even more like rich and deeper than what you've ever experienced before plus this is going to positively impact your sex life as well too so that's a whole nother level <laughs> right there um okay so for some of you <laughs> you i'm i'm getting like baby energy around you all so i feel like for some of you there's a few things coming up i feel like some of you are going to try to trap someone with the baby who you want to be with okay <laughs> that's just what I'm picking up because men trap women all the time as well too so you could have your eyes on someone who um you could see them being the mother of your children so I feel like some of you have kind of already like said it in your mind like that you're going to like get this person pregnant okay boom that's that for others of you I do just get like a strong pregnancy energy around you but I'm feeling for these this other group of you all for whatever reason it kind of feels like you don't think you can get pregnant I mean, you don't think you can get someone pregnant, so there could be, like, certain, I don't know if there's health issues, or maybe it's just, like, um, I'm not quite sure what it is, but I, I definitely feel like, for some of you, it could be a fear that you've had around having kids, or having more kids, and I feel like, for some of you, it's because you actually do want the kids. I just feel it could just be maybe your age or it could be um, maybe health related issues and you feel like you can't get pregnant, but I feel like it feels like miracle energy right here. So I feel like you are going to actually get someone pregnant. Um, so just be mindful of that as well too, that it's the person or a person that you actually want to have kids with okay because i do see some type of energy around you getting someone pregnant for those of you who thought that due to your age or due to like i said some other type of health implication that you are you don't have the ability to get someone pregnant i do see a baby here um yeah so i'm picking up a baby energy here Yep. And then for others of you, it kind of feels like maybe your intention was not to get pregnant. And, um, oh my goodness, where did it go? I just had it in my mind, my mindset, what I was about to say to you. And then it's just kind of, what the heck? Oh, that's what it is. Maybe some of you have been apprehensive. It's, it's more so like you don't know if you want to have kids. But I see like you having kids. So you very well could be with someone who you want to be with. I just kind of feel like maybe you hadn't fully accepted or made up in your mind. Like if this was something that you wanted to do. Because I see like for some of you, you were very like... Um, it kind of feels like maybe some of you... It could do it, it could have to do with work okay it could have to do with work um some of you could feel like like almost like a baby would like slow you down or just maybe it would be like a financial like it's too much like financially i feel like some of you are very like i'm getting like very meticulous when it comes to like your finances so maybe some of you kind of feel like financially a baby just kind of seems very expensive or just more it, like it almost feels like there's better things that you kind of feel from a practical nature that you could do with your your money so this group of you all kind of feels like you got a lot of earth in your birth chart because it kind of feels like you're like you look at a baby like in a practical sense I don't feel like it's anything you have against like having kids I just kind of feel like you look at it like time energy money that could be going towards like other things you know what i'm saying so i kind of feel like you're like extremely like practical when it comes to that but i definitely see some of y'all getting pregnant so i just don't so i'm just saying like 
I'm seeing it happen and it's gonna happen like unexpectedly like you're not gonna see this coming is what I'm I'm picking up so just be mindful and make sure you are practicing using protective measures especially with people you don't see yourself like wanting to have kids with this person or it's not serious because I'm definitely seeing like you can get pregnant or pre impregnate someone very easily is what I'm seeing I'm definitely seeing I'm definitely seeing someone getting someone pregnant okay but I, I like I see this group of you all who I was last talking about it's just more so like you just kind of feel like maybe you value work more or you you just maybe feel like it's never the right time or you you feel like it's just expensive for you to have kids and then I'm also kind of seeing maybe like beneath all of that the reason why you keep trying to put having kids off or you you know you don't want to focus your energy on having kids because it could just be like a subconscious fear of you just kind of feeling inadequate about being like a good dad is what I'm picking up as well too because I'm seeing maybe for some of you you did not have a father figure in your life okay and so I kind of feel like you are like it's, it's like a fear there of you having kids is what I'm picking up and it's almost because you didn't have someone to show you how to be a father. Because you didn't have that, that male figure in your life. You didn't have a strong male figure in your life. I feel like there's abandonment issues here um, in regards to like your father. So I feel like deep down inside, like that's that's the real the real reason, like the root of the reason, but I see you definitely like you you definitely associate like your time your energy your you know wanting to put your money towards other things or feeling like maybe that you is never the right time or you don't have enough money or it's just too expensive or whatever this is i feel like the, like for some of you all the deeper reason pertains to the fact that like you were rejected or you felt rejected by your father or you felt abandoned by your father um you felt like your father just um was not available okay and and i feel like you carry that with you like it's it, it left a void in you so I'm, I'm i'm picking up now father wound issues as well too so some of you definitely could be like some of you you might got either or you know the mother wound or the father wound some of you definitely are suffering from like both is what i'm saying um and it's been something that you've constantly been battling with but uh i definitely feel like the baby will be a great surprise for you all and i feel like those of you who feel like inadequate to be fathers i feel like you will be a great father um i don't feel like there's anything for you to fear um i, I actually think that this is like if this was to occur for you, right, and you're having a child with someone you actually want to be with, I definitely feel like this will be, like, something that allows you to redeem yourself from what you never experienced. Um, but nonetheless, I definitely feel like if you just are absolutely sure that you don't want to be a father, then you need to just make sure you're using and taking proactive measures because I definitely see a baby here okay okay I just got some more cards to clarify like the energy for you all and guess what came up more energy around y'all <laughs> stepping into fatherhood and kids for real for real like some, like 2022 is going to be the year that a lot of you either have uh, kids for the first time or you're gonna have more kids to add to your family so it just kind of looks like it's in the cards for you okay it, look, it looks like you're destined to have some kids but i definitely see the reason why like whatever the whoever these um th these kids that you're about to have during 2020 i feel like these kids are like very special um they're very special just know that they are very special okay these are some very brilliant special kids um and I feel like it's going to be a joy, it's going to be a blessing, it's going to be a gift that you get to bring um, these kids into the world because I feel like they're also coming in to help heal you. Isn't that beautiful? Like, 
God loves y'all so much, okay? Like, the love that y'all did not get, maybe some of y'all from your mothers, or some of y'all from your fathers, or some of y'all from both. Like, you're about to have some beautiful, brilliant kids that you give birth to that are meant to come in, and they're coming in to help you heal your broken hearts. Oh my goodness. That is like the best gift, or one of the best gifts, I would say. That's so sweet. Like, that is so sweet. So I feel like a lot of you, this is like a gift to you. Like, you're being gifted with either stepping into fatherhood again, um, or you're being gifted with being able to step into fatherhood for the first time is what I'm picking up. Oh my goodness, yeah, look at this. Blessing. Abundance. Aww. I feel like a lot of you have changed your lives around so it also feels like especially for those of you I mean whether you have had kids already or not I feel like there's some significant drastic changes that you've made and this is why you're being blessed with this gift of being able to have kids okay or, or having these special kids that are coming into you that is going to be so loving they're going to be so loving to you and I feel like it's just going to help mend your broken heart okay and I feel like um there's definitely this energy as well too um for those of you maybe where you've had kids already where maybe you either didn't have good relationships with um the kids previously that you've had so this is almost like you getting like another opportunity to have kids and like rectify that but it's going to be through these this this set of kids that you have Oh, I said set. Ooh, some of you are going to have some twins. Or some of y'all are going to have some multiples. I don't know. It could be more. more. You could have. You, some of y'all might have some multiple sets of kids. But. Oh my goodness. That's exciting. <laughs> that's probably why I was so excited to do this reading. I didn't know why. That is exciting. If some of y'all end up having like twins or like multiple sets of kids. Oh my freaking goodness you ain't gonna see that coming oh my goodness some of y'all about to have multiple sets of kids like oh my goodness i'm hearing quadruplets like some of y'all about to have so much <laughs> oh my goodness i'm about to cry <sighs> only because that's that's that is so exciting oh my goodness some of y'all about to have multiple sets of kids oh my goodness wow wow It's almost like, okay, let me finish one thought, then I'm going to hop back into that. So I feel like for those of you, so for those of you where you, this is your first time having kids, this is going to be the blessing, especially where there was issues where you had mother-father wounds, okay? And then for those of you where you've had mother-father wounds and you may have already had previous um, children that maybe you, you know, you're, you were absent in their life or... And maybe there's some type of guilt or shame around you not being able to be present or have the relationships that you wanted um, or that maybe they desired or needed you to have with them. I feel like you're getting to almost like rectify or atone for that with these kids that are coming in. And this is going to kind of like help you heal that um, energy as well, too. So that's beautiful. And then I'm also feeling like maybe for some of you where you've had like some type of losses um, with kids or things of that nature, it's almost like some of you are going to get like multiple kids in like one setting okay so that is freaking exciting and i don't know why i'm so happy because i don't know how many of y'all are going to be happy to hear <laughs> that some of y'all might have like multiple kids um but i definitely strongly feel that and the more i keep thinking about that and saying it like i just keep getting more and more and more excited i feel like this is the, that excitement energy that I'm like, I don't know why I'm feeling excited, but I just feel excited doing everything. I feel like this is that right here. This, this is that. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, it's not going to be a surprise to all of y'all because I'm seeing some of y'all been praying to have a huge family. Now, maybe you didn't know or think a family was about to come with like quadruples or quadruplets. What is, yeah, I think they're called quadruplets. Like, you, Maybe you didn't think that you was about to have some quadruplets when you was praying to have a big family. Maybe you ain't. Maybe some of y'all was praying for quadruplets, but I definitely see. Wow. Like, it's even just so 
amazing because I'm just getting like some of y'all genuinely thought that y'all could not have kids and y'all like you I, I got some fertile energy so if, I don't know it's some type of magic energy around you this person you are about to come into contact with to have these kids because I'm telling you it's something there's something different here I'm, I just get a lot of fer fertile fertility Fertility is what I'm seeing. Fertility, and it's you and this other person. So it's some it's something very special or dynamic between you and this other individual. Whether you have one kid or mo multiple kids at one time is what I'm saying. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying um, congratulations in advance. But I, I'm just seeing very strong fertility energy here. Yeah, I'm just seeing like wow. Like, I feel like your family is going to just, like, it's like what you've always wanted, okay? So I just feel like you're going to just be able to have this energy of finally feeling, like, whole and feeling complete. Like, like let's say, like, even if you've already had, like, like I said, kids or marriages and those situations did not work out, I just feel like you're getting, you're going to be blessed with a spouse and then you and that spouse are going to like start another family not to say that you don't love or you won't have connections with your previous kids but I definitely just feel like whoever you're about to have children with either for the first time or extend your family with this individual I just feel like you're going to feel a sense of completion with this individual it's almost like this is the person that like you've been needing in your life or wanting in your life or you never knew that you could have or need it you know what I'm saying um, it's like you finally come into contact with that person that just makes you feel really good feeling up uh, makes you feel really good makes you feel really whole within yourself and just gives you that that um, that emotional completion that you you haven't had is what I'm saying like it's almost like you, you finally feel like you got like home like outside of you you know like like you don't have to be alone anymore like you finally have like a family that's what it feels like for some of you it just it, it just feels like you haven't just had that feeling of family like a, a true loving supportive like family that just like genuinely just loves you um and supports you and i just feel like now you're about to get that like you can look forward to that coming to you um and some of you just can look forward to you no longer feeling lonely you know what i'm saying no longer no longer wanting praying or having to you know look at other people who have like happily beautiful you know established families I feel like you're you're gonna get that for yourself and I feel like it's been long awaited but I feel like the wait is worth it and you're you're gonna feel just so happy is what I'm seeing like I just I just see you just feeling very prosperous and it has a lot to do with the fact that now you have family like now, now you feel like you have a family like you're I just see you being very protective like this is this is mine this is my family this is my tribe you know what I'm saying like I see, I see some of you just being so proud and so protective like like it's like you're confident like everything is about to change for you oh I like it but the, you know the other thing is I feel like for some of you as well too like your money's gonna do even better um I feel um damn I'm just seeing pregnancy energy this is amazing and even if for some of you where you don't have multiples I definitely feel like whoever you're about to get with like y'all about to be popping babies out like back to back like I'm just getting very strong <laughs> fertility energy it's almost like every time 
you look up like y'all are going to be pregnant because i definitely feel like some of y'all want a huge family i'm i do i just see pregnancy energy whoever this person is that you're with like i'm just saying like <laughs> she is constantly pregnant it's like every time you turn around she is pregnant or this could this could be how some of y'all feel like like you finally just met someone who like you just love so much you're just so attracted to like this person makes you feel really good and you always trying to put a baby up in her but either way i'm just seeing pregnant like i'm seeing pregnant she is pregnant but i feel like your money is going to be amazing as well too and i feel like it's going to be because some of you have like have the uh, benefit of having love in your life and you feel so holy complete and that's going to positively impact like other areas in your life but i'm definitely seeing your money is going to be positively um impacted by this as well too because i just feel like like your sense of maybe not having family kind of impacted negatively like your ability to um maybe have like consistent or um consistent money or just consistent work or even just tapping into your creative abilities i, I see your creative abilities enhancing i see your money enhancing but i also see you just having a newfound sense of like um i'm hearing freedom but i i feel like you're having a newfound sense of um like feeling abundant and feeling prosperous like outside of like material things i'm getting like i said once again earth energy around you also some of you may have very strong earth placements um or just maybe that a lot of you have just been like workaholics or just very material based but i feel like once you come into contact with this individual and the two of you like get into your relationship and like like i said have kids and start moving forward and expanding your family i or you know newly building your family i feel like you're going to feel a new sense of like prosperity that you never knew that you could feel outside of like work or outside of like your material possessions or your your money or your bank account like i feel like you're going to have a new sense of like what true wealth is okay um that is such a beautiful reading i feel like i'm going to end it right there um because i feel like we constantly just kind of been getting the same energy coming around but i definitely feel like for those of you um i uh, where you've been, you know, longing, praying, um, I feel like it looks like your, your prayers are going to get answered or where you thought that you couldn't, you know, have kids or you were just a little apprehensive and maybe you're putting it off or just low key, like afraid. And, you know, you just kind of would pour yourself into work and just avoid and felt like, you know, it was never the right time to have kids. I definitely see a lot of you being able to have that desire come true. So, um, I hope this message finds you all with love. This was a blessing and an honor. I'm so excited for those of y'all who about to have multiples, and I don't know why, like, I'm about to help y'all take care of them kids, and I'm not, but I'm just saying. <laughs> it's exciting, though. I just be excited when I see people who, like, have those multiple kids. I just think that is, like, amazing. I don't know. It's just, like, it just seems, like, it just seems super, super natural, or just, like, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it, but that's always exciting. I just feel like that's the ultimate blessing. But nonetheless, um, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, my website is www.divinelotusterial.com and be blessed.